Hey guys, we're back with another update on the uh, July Hero build. We're building, doing the uh, Pharrell Germany Boeing 747 SCA and Space Shuttle Discovery final flight. And we're working on working on the model a little bit. And um, so far, the shuttle's going together pretty well. I'll show it here in just a second. Um, Have it. Now one thing on this kit, I'm not sure it'll show up in a video. Um, there's very, there's a few panel lines on here, but not very many. Um, the ones for the edge of the wing are there. Some of the top ones are, are there, and a few along the side, like here are there and they're all raised which we expect because this kit's from like 1980 um, there are none on the bottom you can see it because it's going to be on top of the 747 I've got the uh, landing gear doors closed on both the nose and the back got our mounting points for the for it it's already put in we got our wings put on one thing We'll say on here there, yeah, the, uh, the pegs and slots are very, very tiny and actually were broken out of most of these. Or actually not even, I don't know, I'm sorry, the video doesn't show very well in the shadows. So what I did was took a little bit of styrene, actually just, uh, just cheap for sale signs you can get at Walmart. And uh, put a few in here to uh, hold the bottom together. Give me a little more gluing surface, a little more stability. And so now there's a little bit of the seam to work with, but nothing nearly as bad as it was would have been otherwise. It's fairly tight. We'll get in there and sand it, put a little putty in it, clean it up. Sorry about that. I had an issue with the camera, so we'll back up and, and cover part of it again. On the nose of the shuttle here, it's completely smooth, except for, you can see the window for the uh, door, some of the RCS jets, and that's it. There's no panel lines or anything to help you act as a guide for painting. Because the wing, the black along the wing continues along. I'm sure you've all seen the shuttle, and then comes up. And it steps forward again and goes across the nose. So I'm going to have to do all that, figure it out, trial and error, try to look for measurements off the uh, painting guide or whatever to try to get that squared up for that. It's nice. But the rest of it shouldn't be too hard for painting because the rest of it's pretty much white and black on the bottom with this gray leading edges on the, on the wings, gray to silver. probably won't put the rockets or the RCS jets in the main engines because the, when the shuttle arrived in DC it had the nose or tail cone on it snap that on here real quick so there's no need to put all those parts on there when it's going to all be covered and I'll realign that so that because that moves a real line so we can have it flush as it you can move it so we'll put it we'll get her lined up and and then flush tight like that so we probably won't be putting any of those parts inside of there I was, I was gonna skip putting the shuttle bay in just putting the doors on but without it in here it's pretty pretty flexible I wanted to save the weight um, so the shuttle bay just snaps in get it up here the cargo bay I should say 
been doing too many Star Trek models lately. There's no shuttle bay, this is the shuttle. And now that it, I'm trying to snap it in here, of course it won't. I've had it in and out three or four times now. But you get the idea what I'll do right over here on where I can get it out of, out of the frame. Sorry, you can't see it, but there it goes. There, I got it in there. Sorry about that. I couldn't do it. I had to have both hands to do it. Um, so that's in there. We had to get a little fill spot because it actually was too long. I had to cut the roof section here. It was too wide. The window opening was too wide. And the still is a touch. Let's flip it around here. Hopefully I can get it to... Get it at an angle where it'll show. There's a little airspace there because I couldn't cut it down far enough, even. But then it would have made the window too small to get it up tight. So we'll have to do a little fill there. And along with it, they'll do it when I do the, uh, the seam filling. So there's the shuttle coming along so far. We'll put the doors on it. And it'll basically be ready to start seam, putty, and paint work on it. So the next building section will probably be working, starting to work the work the 747. And I keep hoping that my AGB wants me to reboot my computer there. Um, that Ravel will be quicker than their estimated 12 weeks on the missing part so that I have at least a shot to get get it done or get be at least be well underway by the end of the month, the end of the build. If we don't get done, no big deal, but we're gonna try. So I'll throw a couple pictures on the end of the uh, end of the video, like always, and we'll see you next time.